what are YouTube ads and how do they work? This is part two in a two part series. If you haven't watched part one, you want to go back and watch part one. I put the link below in part one. I talked about the types of YouTube ads. Now, if you're serious about running YouTube ads and you want to get this right, you're going to want to watch both of these videos and watch them both to the very end. So in the first video, I told you about the types of ads. Now I'm going to show you how to actually make those ads. Okay. Let's get started. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that real quick. Hit that subscribe button down there. Turn on bell notifications turn on all bell notifications so that you'll know about these videos every single time I do them now in the first video I talked about the different types of ads here is where we're gonna actually create our video ad now once we've created our video ad we have to decide where we want it now if we don't want it just popping up on our channel we want to set it to private and then we can actually use that link in our actual ad first thing we have to do is create our campaign so we're gonna to want to um, sign into your Google Ads account and then you're going to select a new campaign now you're going to need to select your campaign goal and the goals that you can have are sales leads web traffic product and brand consideration brand awareness and reach or create a campaign without goal guidance okay now select your campaign type let me put this on the screen real quick these include all forms of Google Ads including search results text shopping so make sure you select video or in some cases discovery campaigns in order to show your video to audiences on YouTube you're gonna to want to click right here now your display ads can also be surfaced on YouTube but remember they aren't videos so those are just going to be text and a thumbnail for people to click on them and that will still go across Google's display network now since you're most likely working with a video ad since you are doing this on YouTube you're going to want to select your video campaign subtype now this screen here is going to pop up just like this and you can pick what subtype you want do you want a skippable in stream a bumper non skippable in stream out stream or ad sequence don't forget to name your campaign in a way that allows you to easily locate manage and optimize it in the future now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to define your campaign parameters and that's going to have to do with your bid strategy and your budget you'll also need to select where your ads actually show up they can be discovery only like YouTube search results all of YouTube which is YouTube search results but also channel pages videos and the YouTube homepage and they can be on the YouTube display network which is non YouTube affiliate websites next thing you need to do is select the location and language of your ads now I want you to think about this for a second you can select just your language if you want but understand only 15% of the traffic that goes to YouTube comes from the US so if you can alter your ad a little bit to where it works in these other countries all the better if not totally understood now the next thing we're gonna do is check how sensitive your brand safety guidelines are in other words how much profanity how much violence how much sexuality suggestive type stuff are gonna be on your ads now most really sensitive ads that have that stuff in them are gonna be in a much smaller pool which is gonna drive the cost of that ad up next thing you're gonna to want to do is target your audience right we want the right people seeing our ads first up is gonna be demographics this covers age gender parental status uh, household income but YouTube also offers more detailed life stage data you can target new homeowners college students new parents for instance the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to target their interest you're going to use topics and keywords to target people based on their past behavior uh, search topics this is how YouTube helps you find people at crucial moments like when they're researching their new electronics purchase the new camera they want the new TV or trying to learn how to build a website keep in mind this is kind of a pro tip if your video is relevant to that person searching's interest you're three times more likely to have people click on it than if there's an actual celebrity in it and we also want to do remarketing which is targeting audiences that have already seen our ads or been to our web pages next thing we're going to do is set our campaign to live we're going to enter the link to the ad and then what we're going to do is we're going to create the campaign button to set your campaign running a pro tip if you want to get into ad sequence campaigns you can actually go there and you can upload multiple types of ads that support each other they are arranged to surface 
to your audience in the right order now skippable and non-skippable in stream ads on YouTube must first be uploaded as regular YouTube videos so that you can actually use that link URL the minimum link for skippable ads is going to be 12 seconds the maximum length for skippable ads is going to be three minutes if it's a non skippable ad it's going to be 15 seconds unless you're running it in Mexico India Malaysia and Singapore those can be 20 seconds the bumper ads are always six seconds so you know YouTube does its best to get your message in front of the right people but you can help that algorithm there's certain things you can do that are really just best practices um, the first thing is hooking people immediately within that first three to five seconds you need to do something to hook that viewer so that they want to watch the rest of your ad you can do little things like something suspenseful or something that's humorous or something that is unusual in the beginning just to shake them up and get their interest here's a verbo ad right here it says finding sunny beaches sandy beaches big beaches and small beaches vrbo now this ad really gets your attention now do your branding early but make it meaningful okay make it mean something to the viewer now for a refreshing example of how a brand can fully embody its positioning take a look at mint mobile's new hashtag stay at home dash infected ad <laughs> in it majority owner and famously handsome man ryan reynolds alludes to the expensive studio shot video mint mobile he started to prepare instead he screen shares a powerpoint with a bar graph and some next steps now the takeaway here is your branding is much more than just your logo uh, it's going to show in the first five seconds per YouTube's recommendation. Now, recently Wells Fargo got a lot of bad press for how it was treating customers. So it came up with this ad right here and it says, Wells Fargo earning back your trust. It shows this Western scene with a guy riding a horse, trying to get your trust back and working hard. A couple things you can do is when you're running your ads is showing people what to do next. Okay. They have this problem. They want a solution, but what do they do next? Now here's an ad that uh, is from monday.com. They've got me targeted because I see these ads all the time. They have CTA overlays and companion banners galore. I see them all the time. Here's example of it right here. Um, and don't be afraid to use templates. Okay. Not every brand has this century old bank or unicorn type startup budget to blow. Now here's a great ad that I've seen run. This is from imperfect. It says from farmers to your door, help fight food waste okay that's a great ad I think so those are some examples of ads uh, I've also show you how to set up your ads now this is part two in a two-part series if you did not watch part one you need to go there because you won't understand all of this okay it explains a lot of that stuff in part one so go back and watch part one there will be a link below there if you haven't subscribed yet please do so hit that subscribe button below turn it from red to gray and turn on all bell notifications you gotta turn on all bell notifications if you do that that way I can let you know every single time I do a new video and you won't be left out in the cold oh my gosh you'll be part of the VIP family the Fisher family that gets notified every single time I do a new video or I go live if you like this video let me know give me a thumbs up comment below have you tried to run ads on YouTube was it difficult did you have some questions I know it can be overwhelming so put those questions below if you've had successes with ads put those successes below that certainly motivates other people and helps them out if you've had problems put those questions below I'll be happy to answer them thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to grab that $97 course it's right below it's absolutely free for a limited time click the link and learn and I'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time I do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel